I knew this was coming, it was inevitable. The complaints about one aspect of zombies have begun. And to be fair, it's only started now because Troyok have only just announced it. Literally a week or two before Black Ops 6 is due to come out, Troyok announced that Gobble Gums will also be available to purchase in the Black Ops 6 in-game store, alongside being able to earn them by just playing the game and surviving through rounds. But you can imagine the complaints, a lot of people saying, hang on, even though to me it's obvious this was always going to be the case and to a lot of other people, it seems like not everyone got the memo that if we were going to have Gobble Gums return in Black Ops 6 Zombies, of course Troyok were going to find a way to monetize them. There's not really anything new there because they did the exact same thing with Gobble Gums in Black Ops 3 Zombies. The only shady thing you could say is that they only just made it official yesterday, literally a week before the game is about to drop, when everybody's pre-ordered it, when we are so close to the release date, why didn't Troyok announce this? months ago when they initially announced Gobble Gums were going to be in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Why not tell us 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks ago, however long it was, when they first told us you will be able to earn Gobble Gums by just playing normal games of Zombies in Black Ops 6? Why didn't they also say then? Well, there's also an option for you to buy them instead of having to slowly earn them through playing the game normally. You can just purchase them instead. But like I said a minute ago, this was always coming. The fact that they didn't announce it, well, you should know better. And to be honest, is it even really an issue. Does it matter if you can also just buy Gobble Gums instead of having to play the game? A lot of people are saying this is pay to win. Is it? I personally wouldn't really put it in that category because Zombies is PvE, not PvP. You're not playing against other players. So being able to buy Gobble Gums, which do give you a massive advantage in Zombies, doesn't matter because you're just playing against the computer. AI, not real players. So is there an issue if you pay to have an advantage over AI zombies but there are things in the community such as world records and completing easter eggs first and finding things first that some people take very seriously not me personally i i don't care i've never been bothered about worlds firsts or getting to super high rounds but there is a part of the zombies community that is and so if you're able to purchase gobble gums instead of only being able to get them by playing the game when it comes to that side of it finding easter eggs and setting records is it pay to win in a way if you're able to use gobble gums to give you that advantage to reach those goals that people admire and again i would probably say no because well it's a part of the game gobble gums are one of the main features in black ops 6 zombies they're an integral part of the game this year they are meant to be used so whether you earn them slowly just by playing the game or whether you earn them faster and have more of them because you purchase them with your own real life money well that's just a part of the game it's not cheating it's not really pay to win because there is no winning in zombies unless you're going for records it doesn't matter who completes easter eggs first i have just thought if gobble gums are going to help people to complete the main easter egg quest which we know can be difficult at the best of times let's say you're not a regular zombies player you play more of the multiplayer or warzone but you want to complete the zombies main quest However, because you don't really play the game, you don't have many gobble gums to choose from, you are more likely to then just go and purchase them to help you complete that main quest. But surely that's not pay to win, or at the very least, it's on the border of it. If you can pay for an item that will definitely help you to complete the storyline in that map, if you think of that scenario in another game, I don't know, the campaign, for example, if you're playing that on veteran and you can pay for an item that will make it easier for you. However, you can also earn that item in game just by playing. I think that slightly borders on the edge of pay to win because, well, you're literally paying to make the game easier so you can complete it. But at least there's the option for you to just grind it out and earn those gobble gums for yourself. And more than anything, this shouldn't be a surprise because we had to do the exact same thing in Black Ops 3 Zombies. You could earn Liquid Divinium by just playing the game, or you could purchase Liquid Divinium, and then you would use that to get more Gobble Gums. The only difference between the system in BO3 and BO6 is in BO3, it was, well, it was gambling, wasn't it? You press the select button, and then Dr. Monty's factory, his gambling machine, would roll the dice, and you would get three random Gobble Gums out of that Divinium you spent. So it really was a gambling system in Black Ops 3 Zombies. However, in Black Ops 6, from what I believe, you are going to be able to just select which Gobble Gums you want. I think. Let's just go ahead and take a look at what Troyok said. As discussed in previous vlogs, Gobble Gums are single-use power-ups that are chosen and kept in your loadout. Packs of five are brought into each match based on the Gobble Gums you've unlocked or collected. Additional Gobble Gums can be earned in a variety of ways, including simply by playing zombies in surviving rounds or by store purchase. So they don't actually say here what the system is going to be like in order for us to 
buy them. It could be like Black Ops 3, where you spend your COD points, you essentially roll a dice and you just get three random gobblegums. Or what I think would be a better system is if you can just purchase the specific gobblegums you want. That way there's no gambling aspect included in it. Just like the loot boxes back in the day that Activision got rid of because it was gambling, where you open up random crates and you get rewards from inside, not knowing what's in there. The gobblegum system in BO3 was pretty much the same. You didn't know what gobblegums you would get until you'd spent your money and a lot of the time you just got stuff that you didn't want and were never going to use so hopefully in black ops 3 what i think would be a much better system is if you could just purchase the gobble gums you want i mean it will mean everyone is just gonna buy perkaholic and nothing else but at least that way you know what you're getting you're not wasting your real life money on ones that you, you just don't want but i suppose we'll just have to wait because from what i can see they don't make that clear on this blog at least not to me anyway but yeah if you just take a look at this post that charlie intel put out about being able to purchase gobble gums from the in-game store and you look at some of the comments this person said people saying it's pv as if you can't make a pv game play to win that's true although i think it's less important someone replied back who's losing are the zombies going to be mad that they couldn't afford to buy gobble gums to fight back he replied dying and getting a game over without extracting or doing these drag kind of counts as a loss and that person said back well that's more of a skill issue which it is but it's definitely going to cause people to go out there and spend their money on gobblegums which is fine people can do what they want with their money i'll be real i can't remember the last time i purchased card points i think it was back in modern warfare 2019 for the very first battle pass and then after that i just earned all the card points that i needed through that to purchase the next one but before that, it must have been Black Ops 3 Zombies. And in that game, I think I only ever purchased like the lowest amount of Divinium just to get some random gobblegum. So I've probably only spent about, I don't know, £20, $30 on Call of Duty ever besides from the base game and DLC maps. Somebody else said, well, some gobblegums at least in Black Ops 3 were very game breaking, such as Perkaholic or ones that pack a punch your gun instantly. You can bet your ass those ones will be in the store, so it depends how you define pay to win. Another person said, I love gambling and pay to win in my PV $70 game. Someone replied back, don't think it's gambling, probably just buy the ones you want. Another comment reads, love how they announced it like a week before release and they told everybody they're free to win at the real event. That's true, but you should have expected you could also buy them. Mist commented, kind of stupid. I love how they say this a week before release. Game's not even out yet and it's already paid to win. If Zombies wasn't already easy enough, with score streaks, stims, Ether Stroud, Self Revives, Quick Revives, etc. And now Golgums? Round 1000 is easy work. As long as it's not randomised and I can just pick whichever ones I want, this is fine. Not surprised, but I won't say this is necessarily a bad thing. As long as you can still earn all respective Golgums, in a way that's fun to the player. So, they replaced gambling with pay to win. Nice. We'll have to wait and see. Rewind said, not sure if it's good or bad. No, just bring back Dr. Monty's factory. Who want to pay for gobblegums, bro? That defeats the whole purpose and surprise. So this person would prefer the gambling aspect of Black Ops 3 instead of knowing which gobblegums you're going to get, it being randomized. So sometimes you would get bad ones and you would rarely ever get a good one. This person preferred that system. Spinal Rampage says, gobblegums are cool, but paying for gobblegums is dumb and I wish there wasn't an option. At least they're seemingly being generous with giving them out for free, but we won't really know until the game comes out. And then there's a few others. L, pay to win on zombies. And there's a lot of good ones as well because I think a lot of people expected this, but also you can simply just earn gobblegums by playing the game. You don't have to pay for them. From the sounds of it, you will be able to earn them pretty easily. I think they announced it. Wasn't it like every five rounds you get one gobblegum or every four rounds, something like that. So I think they're going to be very generous with them, which is great. They've just also given you an option to purchase them if you want more than you're able to earn through playing. So what do you guys think about this? It is controversial. Personally, I don't care about it at all because I'll be real, I never used them all that much in Black Ops 3. I reckon I will in BO6, but I was never going to purchase them anyway. I play zombies more than enough where I feel like I'm going to earn the gobblegums that I need. I just, I don't think I'll need to purchase them. And if I did, I wouldn't anyway. I've just never really spent my money on Call of Duty like that. I don't feel like giving Activision more money than the cost of the base game. I'm not going to give in. O unless it's something really cool, you know, give me a, a cool cosmetic you might get me. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we are close to 700,000 subscribers. So if you could just take a couple of seconds out of your time and click that button, I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.